government regulations, the cultural differences, just what office etiquette is. Uh, just things like in Japan is one of the cultures where it is very important to present your business card in a particular way with two hands facing so they can read it when you give it to them. Uh, one trip uh, that I went to in Japan, I was, uh, I was being treated as a VIP guest. And so I went to this particular dinner and I was introduced to the, uh, the president of the company. And when he came over and he introduced himself, he said, well, bow, so I gave him a little bow. Then he bowed again. <laughs> so now I don't quite know what to do, but I bowed again. <laughs> Third time he bowed. I bowed again. Someone rescued me. He came up and said, what you don't understand is you bowed slightly lower than he did. So since you are a VIP guest, he must bow again a little bit more. I was very careful from then on to just go. And they really can make or break you in being accepted as part of the business community. And of course WWE, because it is a content producer, also has to be, you know, very aware of cultural differences in order for product distribution and growth of our business there. So it's very important, I think, to have a people who are either uh, natives there, who have lived there for so long they really understand the culture, have a good group of consultants who you can go to until you really have your feet on the ground, and then plus there are certainly different laws, taxes, all that, and you really have to have good uh, corporate business support to be successful.